Aloha cash flow game. You guys been getting your cash flow game on? I like to do do this one stock market for kids because I love the stock market and it's the first one there makes it fast boom no sound not hearing any sound sometimes this uh sometimes this has happened to me in the past where there should be some sound playing but no sound plays I don't know maybe that's going on but tell you the truth I I don't really care so what's going on here I'm an airline pilot you guys know the deal the, to win this game you gotta get there's two steps to win this game the first step is you gotta get this number higher than this number and this number can change when you get this number higher than this number it gets you out of the circle which is known as the rat race and it gets you onto here which is known as the fast track two ways to win the game one is to land on your dream and buy it the other one I think is to get over fifty thousand dollars of passive income or something like that and this is a financial statement. One of the big values of this game is learning how to read the financial statement. Everybody has one. I would say, is there something on earth that doesn't have a financial statement? This pen probably doesn't have a financial statement. My fish over there probably don't have financial statements. Churches have financial statements. Government agencies, militaries, governments, schools, individuals homeless homed everybody's got financial statements so I gotta buy some new golf clothes boom and let's see how let's see what can what can happen how quickly can I get this going okay I'm going with the small deals right now why am I going with the small deals because small deals are five thousand dollars or less and I only have three hundred bucks 380 actually 380 you know what that is that's something that you might want to invest in Ooh, I found a great deal down payment two thousand dollars Ooh, I only got 380 uh, cash flow 250 is a total cost but in order for me to get this I need to come up with two thousand dollars I only have 380 so technically I could borrow some money the way uh, I will uh, figure this out is I'll go I'm gonna go buy it's gonna tell me I don't have enough money I can take out a a loan for two thousand dollars it'll have a monthly payment of two hundred bucks which is in this game it's gonna be ten percent of whatever you borrow let me go back to no real quick uh, you see the monthly payment two hundred cash flow two fifty which means even by even if I take out a loan uh, for this, even if I even if I take out a loan for this, I'm still making a positive fifty dollars when everything is said and done. So yeah, I'll take out that loan. I'm gonna buy it, and now what happened? Now we're probably gonna see it recorded in a variety of places. Number one, I took out the loan, so that is probably right here is a liability, two thousand dollars. Here's the liability column. Now, when I have to pay that back, that's recorded here in the expense column. So where should that be? Loan payment right here. After I take that out, I'm able to make the down payment to, to get the mortgage and all this stuff. So the mortgage is also a liability that's recorded here. The mortgage payment should be right here. And then the house is recorded here is an asset. And income the payment here so I'm I'm uh, I'm receiving this income payment after this so excluding my loan here the rent must be whatever uh, 500 1580 or whatever that math is so now that you got a basic idea of, of how this goes I'm just gonna start playing 
fast and see what happens. And stick with a small deal. What we got? Stocks. Okay. For generally, what I like to do is um, I'm buying stocks, especially in the beginning of the game, like uh, ten dollars and lower. So I'm passing on this. And you know, other videos that I made of playing this before, uh, people have left comments saying that, "Oh, you're too whatever. I'm too uh, what would they say? You don't take enough risk and all this and ooh, different things like that." one dollar and um, you know that may or may not be true sometimes uh, you know risk is similar to sunlight in a way where everyone has a different tolerance for sunlight I have a friend named Dwayne he can tolerate Sun uh, way longer than I can tolerate Sun and so risk is sometimes like that also so in a way, it uh, could be, I don't 100% know because I, I don't understand their whole situation, but it could be that what these people are doing is kind of like um, if my friend Dwayne were to say, you know what, Brent, you're a wimp. You know, you, you stay out in the sun. You can stay out in the sun longer. I'm out in the sun longer. So just because someone else has a risk tolerance of XYZ doesn't necessarily mean that everybody should have a risk tolerance of XYZ. So what I try to do is I do this. When especially people that I don't know are yapping off their opinions, random people on YouTube that are just leaving a comment, not providing any content of their own, giving me an idea of what their personality is and what they have to offer to really bring to the table as far as wisdom, instead of just yapping in a comment section. Uh, even, even people around town. Because a lot of people, it might be in your best interest just to cancel them out. But for those people that want to see more risk being taken, all right, I'll take a risk. Okay, I'm going to buy thirteen. I'll buy thirteen dollars worth. Now uh, we'll go. We'll go. Uh, I don't want to go all the way of, um, you know, it's totally three thousand. But I will go two thousand. I'll do. Out of two thousand, that keeps me with like three thousand, a thousand dollars still, and that's fine with me because we got this up here. And if you don't know what that is, then <laughs> then somehow <laughs> you have to learn. Ten bucks, okay. Uh, I'll buy some. I'll buy some. I'm gonna buy hundred shares. No, ten shares. Uh, about about uh, fifty shares. I'll buy 50 shares. All right, small deal. Ooh, massive losses. Do I have that MIT for you? Yeah, man, look at that. I just went down. Um, I just lost half my shares because company reorganizes. Massive losses due to overexpansion and recession. Shareholders lose one half of their ownership rights. Reverse splits. One for two. Watch this. This is going to drop down to 1,000. Boom. So, hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. Sometimes the cookie do crumble like that. All right. What do we got going on now? Small deal. Um, still sticking with those small deals. Man, look at this. Business up. Okay. Uh MYT for you. Looks like I might go back to 2,000 shares. The shares have just split. Two for one. All right. Now, okay. Sometimes the cookie reassembles out of nowhere. Who knows? I guess it's when you eat, you know, you eat it, it crumbles. And then when it goes through the intestinal, intestinal tract, it reassembles to the exit of that. It, you know, that's, that's, a, that's probably not appropriate for this. But I said it anyways. I'm still sticking with the small ones. All right, MYT for you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here's here's a big thing. Now, some people are gonna be yapping in the YouTube comments that I sold this, but you know what? I don't give up. I'm selling it. I'm cashing out. Why not? I just 10x my money. You know, could I? Well, another thing I could do is I could sell half. You know, I could sell half. What if I? Let's see. What if I sold it all? 
get twenty thousand dollars. I sell half and get ten. And I'm just gonna sell it all. Now what do I got? Now I got twenty thousand dollars on on hand. That's cool with me because I'm so much in the beginning of the game. But you know what? Those YouTube comment yappers, they're right. I could have hold out for you know somewhere down the road. Look at this. I'm being offered some some money. How much? Sixty five. Let me see. What if I were to sell this? I, oops. Uh, sell them out. How much would I make it? Um, you know what? I'm going for it. Okay, so now I don't have any. Uh, I guess I got these these stocks, but now I got fifty thousand dollars. Let me pay off that loan since that's gone. Boom. Pay that off. All right. So that's okay with me. I decided I wanted to sell it. So now I'm gonna go with the big deals. I got a little bit less than fifty thousand dollars in my pocket, and let's see what I can get. Oh, maybe. Man, I guess it went out and celebrated a little too much. All right. Uh, cappuccino machine. You know, I got the baby. Got to got to make some have some extra energy with, with the with that baby. Okay, big deals. What we got? Uh, you know what? This is great. I love this one. Limited partnership. Okay, so su successful doctor expanding office and clinic needs partner to fund equity portion of construction costs. I'm going to pay $25,000, which I have. Uh, down pay is $25,000, which I have. Cash flow is $1,000. I can't remember anything in this game that has a negative some sort of negative connotation to it for example you know rental property you can have tenant not pay you can get some sort of some sort of card you know that comes up in real life we saw um, 2019 2020 you know people didn't have to pay their rent so things can happen in this game I haven't seen too much there are certain assets that seem to be a little more on the expensive side a little bit harder to get a little more rare but seem to have less risk to them so let's buy it Boom. Now I see that shot up this. Now I'm at a thousand dollars. I just gotta get some more. Let's just keep going. All right. I'll stick with the big deals for now. Okay. Automated business. I gotta get it, right? Ooh, these video pinball machines, long term contracts. Yeah, owner is desperate. I'm gonna put a down payment of two thousand. Oh, excuse me, twenty thousand. Cost is a hundred thousand. Got the cash flow of 16. I don't need to borrow the money. You know how the math works out. If not, study your financial statement. Get that done, boys and girls, uh, women and men, whatever the case may be. All right, rolling again. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go with small. See, uh, see what we can get. Because, you know, yeah, technically, uh, let's go. Okay, what do we got here? 20,000. If I were to buy this, I have to take out a loan. Shouldn't be taking out, uh, hold on, $800 loan. You know what? I'm going to buy it. The reason why I'm going to buy it is that um, cash flow is $800. i am going to take a, a loan out for $8,000, which the payment is $800. So that means I'm breaking even. But as soon as I pay um, $500 on that loan, I'm positive 50 bucks. I can, I can pay off the loan quickly or slowly, and most importantly, or maybe you know equally as importantly, whatever, I have an asset to sell for another capital gain. So let's do it. All right, ooh, cost 100,000. I eh, forget what, I, what these can sell for, what the market price is. But anyways, just gonna do it anyways. So what are we looking at? Oh, look at that, not much money. All right, come on, come on. Oh man, my fishing rod. That's cool. I like fish. I got some fish over here. Maybe uh, maybe I need to eat them. Got to stick with the small deals. You know what, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm passing on this. The reason why I'm passing is um, why am I passing? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna buy it. I'm not passing, but I'm not gonna buy a whole lot. I'm not gonna buy a whole lot. And YouTube commenter commenters, you know, correct me, please correct me how I'm wrong. Hey, look at that. Um. Zero down, 100 bucks a month. Oh, buy it. All right. All right. I buy a new wristwatch. I hope it does something. Um, hope it's a Timex. Woo, doggies.
man, I just got hit hard. I got hit hard. I got downsized. I got to pay $8,000. I don't have $8,000. It's going to make me borrow money. Look at that. Bam. Borrowing money. Downsize. You know what's cool about playing this game by playing it play with myself? You know what's fun about playing this game with myself? I can just blow through this really quickly. And we'll just roll out of here. You know what? I got to pay back some of these loans. I'm passing on that. I gotta pay back these loans. Give me some money to pay back these loans. Uh, I'll stick with a small deal. Now nah, passing on that. I pay back these. Paid off some loan. Oh, how much do I owe in loans? Holy schnapples. Um, I think I owe quite a bit. I'm gonna stick with a small deal for the moment. Ooh, look at this. Sell. Sell as much as I got. Okay, great. Boom. Let's pay down some loans. What loans we got over here? Loan payment. Where do I got some some this loan stuff? Um, repay. Loan loans. There we go. I was in the wrong section. Car loans. Loan twelve thousand. Let's let's um uh, just bump it. Pay uh pay five. All right. What does that do? So that should take down this a little bit. Bump up this a little bit. Give me some extra money. All right. We gotta pay back seven. All right. Let's just get this dice rolling oh gold collector wants gold coins but I don't have those let's get it going all right let's stick with a small deal for the moment now nah, passing passing because I think I'm gonna be getting out of the rat race relatively soon I want to pay off that loan and you know they, they, they ooh, look at that it was pretty good we got 17 we got here uh, I'll buy that because that will add to my cash flow and uh, let's repay some more loan. We'll go uh, uh, seven thousand. Just pay off the seven thousand. All right. So I got a little bit over five grand in cash. Uh, got that loan paid down, and uh, since I'm paying off loans, I'm just taking a quick look at these real retail debt only thousand. You know what? You know, sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't, just depending on what's going on. But yeah, why not? You know, I'm just gonna pay that off. Bumps up. Um, it's like yeah, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But freeze up fifty bucks, add it off. You know, I got a big. Uh, I'm I'm getting close to being halfway there. Or maybe I'm at halfway there, whatever. But uh, it's time to get going. Look at that, bam! Making some some gains here. Let's see, let's see. We'll go a small deal again. Maybe we can cash this out. Nope. All right. Rolling. Ah, another baby, man. Oh, shoot. No wonder why I have high expenses. Almost $500 per kid. All right. Come on. What do we got? Uh, let's try a big deal. Let's see what we got. 30000 yeah. Let's see if it would make any sense. So 15, 1500 well, golly gee, oh boy, yeah, put us at this, you know, puts me in this compromised position. Sometimes I, it's, I like to just go with the <laughs> small deals. Oh man, you know what? Let's just, for the sake of uh, seeing what will happen, let's, let's just, I'll do it. I'll do it. We'll see. We'll see what's going to happen. Back to, look at that. Back to only 900 bucks again. This big, big loan, $15,000 loan. Got to start repaying that. What's my okay five thousand dollar payday? Eh, maybe I can get that paid off relatively quickly. We'll see. I'm back to the small deals. All right, we're passing on that. I'll get rid of all the stock that I have. Okay, tenant. Look at this. See what happens. Man, I gotta pay five hundred bucks because I'm a tenant. All right. Uh, how much money I got? Got five grand. Let's let's uh let's just whittle away at this. Let's put one thousand. Okay, one thousand. That frees up a hundred bucks. Small deals. Ooh, gosh, darn it! I should have kept that thousand. Eh, whatever. Buy it. Take out another loan. You know, in one hand, out the other. Alrighty. Stick with the small deal for a moment. We're gonna pass on that. Repay. <laughs> there we go. All right. So now I'm back to where I was, but. 
I'm not back to where I was because I now have an extra rental house. And yeah, I own loan on it, but uh, maybe I'll get a car to sell it. You know, ooh, I got another baby. Gosh, man. I'm celebrating good times. Come on. You know, celebrating all the time in bed. All right. Back at it. Small, I'm gonna stick with the small deals. Ooh, start a part time company. I'm not starting a part time company right now because I'm too late in the game. I usually do this in the beginning. I don't want to start a part time company right now. I already got my strategy. I need to pay this down. Once I pay this down, I'm freeing up like whatever, 1400 bucks. I'm passing on that. Comment critics, you can tell me how I'm wrong. How am I wrong? You let me know. All right, let's repay. How much should we repay? And let's just go with a little, let's go with 4,000. Is that right? Okay, that frees up 400 bucks here. Boom, back at it. Let's roll. All right, stick with the small deals. Oh, you know what? That's that's tempting. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm passing. I'm passing because look at, I'm loaded up. Look at all this stuff. I have all this stuff that I could sell for capital gains, and it is giving me, uh, it is giving me, uh, cash flow and the other thing is that in order to sell these stocks I'm pretty sure I gotta pick the small deals so I'm gonna be at a point where I can just keep picking the big deals all right past that oh boy yeah my kids oh go back to school all right I'll go back to school oh where are we at now repay eleven thousand all right all right, top 10. Um, let's stick with, uh, we'll just do, uh, we'll do three. All right, puts me at eight. And what we got? Who wants to buy land? Don't have any land. I don't have any raw land. See, for me, there's certain cards that I'll, I'll buy in the beginning that could be capital gains, like that raw land. But when I'm, when I'm kind of stacked with capital gains stuff, I'll pass. I'll pass on certain things. Uh, still at eight. Go back. All right. Once I pass this, ooh, here we are again. Come on, sell this. Okay for you. I don't have it. Oh yeah. Thank you. Fourteen. I'll watch. Let's see. Just gonna repay four. That'll bring me down to ten. 10,000 here at least, you know, slowly. I remember one time it was, I, I paid, I was down to maybe five. I remember one time sp specifically six, then I was at eight. Now I'm going to be at 10. So, and this is going down. So my cash on hand is going up. My uh, loan amount is going down, which means my cash flow. Bam. Where'd it go? Bam. Right there. Going up. Okay. Okay. We're creeping there. We're creeping there, my friends. The creep has become a faster creep though. I have no assets. Don't have a bed and breakfast. So, all right. I'm going to stick with a small deal just for the moment. I'll pass on that. And boom. Okay, 16. What you got in the small deal? Give me some. Ooh, I'm not buying that. Maybe at the beginning of the game I might buy that, but I'm not buying that right now. Repay. Look at that. Pay off my loan. Only three thousand dollars left. Boom. Now what do we got? Well, credit cards. Car loan. Would anything make sense to to pay off? Uh, paid off credit card. Eh, I really don't have anything. Let's just okay. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Hmm. Hmm. A little bit of dilemma, you know, because usually the big deals are a little more. Eh, let's give it a try and see what happens. Ooh, doggies. Man, I wish I'd be on that. You know what? I'm just going to pass. Uh, sometimes I get myself into this this habit of like <laughs> borrowing money, buying something, and paying it off. I'm just going to pass. It's a little more than what I want to deal with right now. The comment critics, you can, you guys can let me know how the foolish that was and how I'm, I'm it's so terrible, whatever you guys want to do. Did I see? Oh, see, I'm so used to paying something off, I'm automatically going for it. All right. Oh, man, big screen TV. I'm just going to pay the whole thing. Ah, that's all right. I'm at 15. I was at 10 not too long ago. So, all right, what do we got? Okay, here we go. 
uh, three. All right. All right. How about this? Okay, the cash flow is going to go down a little bit. Cash flow is going to go down a little bit, but the cash on hand is drastically going up. Boom. All right. So now that's why I wasn't buying those stocks because I knew sooner or later I was going to be selling those. Yes, it drops the cash flow down just a little bit, but look at all this cash I have on hand now. Now we can do some big deals. Now I should be able to do some big deals. All right. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. That's not the, the greatest. Uh, uh, maybe I can sell it later. But um, yeah, that's pretty good. 800 bucks. Yeah, there's probably some better ones, but whatever. It's a big deal. And I don't know how much that, <laughs> how much that matters. Woo, I'm getting these things like, I was looking for that one for 3000 or whatever it was. Might as well donate. I might as well donate so I can pass can round then uh, plex buyer let's see how much does my plex pay me plex 800 uh, 4,000 uh, I don't really want to sell did I sell it did I sell it on accident I don't think so good I don't want to sell it I'm okay with this much cash on hand I'm okay with that. Uh, okay. There we go. Two bucks. All right. Big deal. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. All right. A thousand. Oh, we're getting closer. We're getting closer, my friends. We are getting closer. Oh, Snickers. Yeah. <sighs> Lost some money. Lost some. A little bit less than 10 grand. But, you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. And I'm buying, I don't know why I'm buying CDs or I could just download it. I don't actually, I don't listen to, you know, actually, uh, that top shelf, that's, that is a bunch of CDs. You know, what can you say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a middle-aged guy. That's just what's, that's what's cracking nowadays. All right, so what's up? Rolling these dice. Oh, man, good. Uh, I must have got a vasectomy. You know what? Let me let me let me let me pause this and go uh, go give some medical care to my vasectomy. All right. Thank you for letting me take care of that, Doctor. Said you know I gotta gotta deal with that. So where are we at? All right. Okay. A little bit over a thousand dollars to get myself out ski of the rat race. And is it gonna be done right now? Boom. No, it's not getting done. I'm passing on that. Come on, come on, right here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Boom, out of the rat race. Out of the rat race. Now, come on, land over here so I can get this done and go take care of some stuff. All right, buying this. Okay, so once I get uh, this income goal here, I win or oh, landing on my dream. But look, come on, you, you got to. I think you got to give some credit for building a stock market for the kids. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, God. I'll give you a little, a little tip. You may already know this tip, but before you endeavor on any great or important undertaking, invoke the blessing of God. So. If we dissect this a little bit, before you endeavor on any great or important undertaking, who defines great or important undertakings? I'm going to suggest that you get to define that. So every morning when you wake up, is it going to be a great and important undertaking? Hey, that's up to you. If every morning, if every day of your life is a great and important uh, undertaking, invoke the blessing of God when you wake up. And then the other thing is how to invoke maybe how to how to how to pray and um also i guess some sort of questions about about god so i'll leave those up to you to come up with your own conclusions on those but it's there if you if you like it before you 
uh, endeavor on any great and great or important undertakings. Invoke the blessings of God. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a fantastic time journeying with me down the the cash flow game race, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. It's Friday night, and uh, I spent some time with you. I'm going to spend some time with someone else. You have a fantastic night, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.